knock off as you go up. Okay, I'll do that. And, and have an estimate of, yeah, and have an estimate of the camp, because it'll be packed. Yeah. Yeah. start to send. So, so you can start down there. I'll take a ladder. I'll do that, Kerry. Can you do that, Kerry? Can you do that, Kerry? Can you do that, Kerry? idea of numbers yet then we've got this carriage there's a lot of people in there i've seen at least 30 or 40 so far right. as soon as we can we're going to move you okay what we're going to do is we're going to stop the blood flow uh, to keep you safe we've got a We've got this train over the soldiers, three, three carriages, carriages, 33 persons on board, five medically trapped for foreign assistance. And in front of the second train, we've got an RTC vehicle on its side, four persons severely trapped, and then two phone clear, possibly amputees. So one lift. Okay. Ready, steady, lift. Right. Off we go, guys. Oh, uh, good morning everyone, my name is uh, Group Commander Dan Quinn, I'm the uh, Fire Incident Commander. Okay, three operational sectors, um, sector one, train, sector two, train, sector three, uh, vehicle. One of, the, one of the tactics that we've employed is we want a sequential search of each of the carriages so that we're not leaving anyone accountable. Nothing has changed since the last briefing, everything is still secure, yeah. still working to yourself. Okay, just continuing on the investigation, all the guys said the signal box has been secured. we have also asked for the junction, the uh, command centre in Cardiff to be secured as well from a crime scene point of view, because there may well be a form there that will... Ready, steady, lift. Right, right. 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 Right.